fall down 17-3. What's kind of the, the thought process there over there on the side? I mean, or maybe even when that, that fumble of the kickoff, what do you guys say in the huddle? What, what's kind of the conversation when you know they're getting the ball back and they got a lead already? Man, it was just, you know, uh, our coach told us, you know, compete with heart and discipline. And, uh, you know, that's why we uh, we never went down on ourselves. We knew that, you know, we uh, were going to be able to come back. And it was just so well now. And, uh, you know, we uh, – I think our team, you know, we uh, we came through strong, and it was a great team win. Is so what now? What something new? A, a couple guys have mentioned that, yeah. uh, and it was that kind of the rallying cry on the sideline when you guys fall down early. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just uh, you know, like it's like the next man up. Uh, when uh, JT went down, you know, it was so what now what, and uh, Keenan uh, he came in and uh, he did an excellent job. Yeah, yeah what did you think of the freshman? You know, throwing for 377 yards. Yeah, he did awesome, man. I'm, uh, I think he had a great game. And, uh, you know, I'm just really grateful uh, to, to see that, uh, you know, he was prepared and he was ready to go. How were you guys able to go from being down 17-3 to you finish the game on a 42-3 to run? How, do you, as a defense, did you guys hold them like that? How did you kind of flip the tables on them? And, you know, we were just playing assignment uh, sound uh, football. Uh, you know, we were holding that. Uh, we were shut our uh, – Main goal was to shut down the run, and when we shut down the run, we were going to rush, uh, rush the quarterback and uh, wreck havoc. So, you know, I think we did a great job of that, and uh, we just have to move on to next week. And uh, you know, when we back uh, back in Utah, you know, and uh, I think it's uh, it was a great team win. You guys look like you had a little bit more freedom in the second half. That's something Chad said about you. When the coaches tell you, do they tell you that, or they kind of is it just by the calls? Do you kind of notice that? What was kind of yeah, how did I mean, that kind of play out? We just noticed it, you know. Uh, we saw that, you know, we were uh, about to run away with it, and uh, you know, we were just uh, making three and outs. You know, that was our whole goal the whole night was just you know three and out and uh, you know get out of there and uh, get the, the ball into the offense and uh, let them uh, do what they do. Didn't quite get a three and out on one drive because you had to get a fourth down stop. Yeah. You know, walk me through that play. What did you see on that, and how were you able to make that tackle? Man, it was just, you know, I was just doing my job. Uh, they had a, they had their, uh, what is it, their little, uh, I don't even know, their outside zone or something, and uh, the guard came on me and he pressed down, and I already saw that he was coming. So I just uh, anticipated him, and, uh, you know, I saw, I saw the running back, and I just, you know, I had to make the play. How much confidence does this D-line have right now? Um, man, we are, we're just having fun out there, man. You know, it's uh, uh, every week is uh, you know a new challenge, but you know we're always uh, we're just uh, coming up, and you know we're ready to challenge it uh, and face everything that's coming at us, and uh, we're just having fun while we're doing. Is it? Did it feel different in the third and fourth quarters this year? I mean, with the rotations you guys have had and trying to keep guys fresh, did you do you feel different as a guy who started last year and some this year? I mean, oh, definitely, man. Uh, you know, we have a, uh, like I told you guys, we have a lot more depth. And, you know, it's just great to, you know, be in and out and uh, seeing guys, you know, fly around and making plays of uh, all four quarters. Is it kind of emblematic? I mean, last week you kind of forced a couple of sacks. You got the pressures and someone else got it. Whereas this week you get a sack when, you know, someone else got some pressure and you were there in the middle. Yeah. To, to, is that just how this defense is working, that you guys are, are getting enough pressure individually to, to funnel things to each other? You know, how, yeah. how that I mean, we're just, you know, we're just uh, – doing our job man literally we're just uh you know we're not we're not we're playing unselfish and you know we're just trying to get off the field and uh you know i think uh our, our front seven you know we're doing a great job and um, it's really excited uh, to see how we do this for you was this a statement i mean you finished the game off 42 to 3 against stanford a team that's ranked as top 25 you guys look at this as telling other people in the pac-12 maybe even around the nation something a little bit different about this usc team than last year i mean it's uh you know, it's, it is what you see. It is, uh, you know, we're just uh, gonna be able to take this win and hold it under ourselves. But each week, you know, we gotta work just as hard and prepare uh, just as well to, you know, face the next opponent that's coming up. And last one, from, what, are you excited about it going back to Utah? I mean, every every time you get to go, I'm sure it's a big, oh, yeah. big moment for you. But, but getting to go against BYU a little bit different than. You know, playing uh, Utah, who, who you played a couple times. Is it a different atmosphere going now? Oh, yeah, I'm really excited, man. You know, it's always great to go back home and see all my family and friends, so I'm sure excited. Thank you, Jack.